My name is Bill Fujioka. I'm the new chair of the Board of Trustees of the Japanese American National Museum. We're sitting here in, the, um, in front of the barracks that were taken from Hart Mountain. Both sides of my family, my mother's side and my father's side, were incarcerated at Hart Mountain following the forced removal of Japanese Americans from their homes. But like a lot of Sanseis, third generation Japanese Americans, our parents did not talk about camp. My father, who was a decorated veteran with a 442, never talked about his war experience. And so for me, as a member of the Board of Trustees for Janum, the most important thing we could do is not only preserve the stories and the memories of what happened during World War II, but also share those stories with others. It's very special because of my mom's deep commitment and involvement with the museum from the beginning. She was part of the original fundraising group to build this amazing structure. But also, it's an amazing honor to follow Secretary Mineta. He was a man of amazing accomplishments. And for someone like myself, nothing I achieved in my life could have happened without the sacrifices of the Issei and then the Niseis like Lord Mineta. What they did to show the strength of my community, what they went through, their hardships, their sacrifices, and then their accomplishments, paved the way for someone like myself to obtain the, one of the highest positions in public government. We have a new generation who, I'm, I'm very, very encouraged, who've embraced their history and embraced the, uh, the importance of standing up against things like you know, anti-Asian hate. We as Japanese Americans, we're victims of that hate. I would like us to be a very strong advocate to speak to not only the um, increase in anti-Asian hate, but the consequences to a community if that goes unabated. Across the plaza from the museum, we have the National Center for Preservation of uh, Democracy. It's my hope that that becomes a forum to discuss issues that impact not only the JA community, but equally important, the entire Asian American Pacific Islander community. My grandfather was an extremely prominent member of the JA community here in Little Tokyo. He owned the largest dealership west of the Mississippi of any ethnic group, of any race. In this particular picture, has him in front of his garage. He played an amazingly important role with um, Japanese farmers and other Japanese businesses. Back then it wasn't, they didn't have finance plans, but he went to each one of them and said, um, pay me when you can. And so a lot of poor farmers were able to grow their farms. And the, the farming industry on the West Coast was changed by the Japanese Americans. You know, he has an amazing legacy here in Little Tokyo. And hopefully, in this position, I can build upon that legacy.